Hello everyone, we're going to be going over this mailbox that we picked up from Home Depot and uh, we also have the steel mailbox 4x4 adapter because we have community mailboxes um, that just has one rail that goes along so we're going to do this. It doesn't sit just out in front of our house. That also means that I'm not going to be showing you installation at where our uh, mailboxes are. So if you're looking for that, I won't be able to help you. Sorry, um, but I will do the unbox and show you all the components. Then we will go over how to put this on the mailbox, the actual adapter. And then uh, we'll go over the instructions on how to mount this to a post. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself today on DIY with Chris. So we'll go ahead and get this unboxed. We don't have so much of a problem with uh, theft where we are, but our other mailbox is really trashed at this point because some of the teenagers like to mess with them. And so it's not in very good condition anymore mail is getting wet now so so I've decided to go with this one and the current one that we have is also pretty small so it doesn't fit many packages or anything in it it's this one should give us more options to do So in this Ziploc bag, we have the flag here that goes on the side to let them know that there's mail. And then uh, this says keys I haven't lost yet. So <laughs> apparently they know that's a pretty big problem. Uh, probably good to go make copies of those, I guess. That's, that's kind of a nice reminder there. this one multiple places it seems to be pretty common some of the specs on here on the packaging is it does say that it's 18 inches deep here um, it has 11 and a half inches wide and 14 inches tall altogether. So it says that each one of these compartments up front is seven inches. Uh, note the installation hardware is not included with the mailbox mounting bracket may be required to mount to post which is not included and that's why we went ahead and purchased the other one. Um, Oasis Classic offers an oversized hopper door design with an internal security baffle locking the lower compartment and modern styling. It is constructed of powder coated heavy gauge galvanized steel panels with stainless steel hinges and lock for extra durability. The Oasis Classic protects deliveries with an enhanced locking system, pry resistant lock bracket and weather tight rubber seals. Uh, it says that it accepts parcels ranging in size from nine and three quarters inches by six and a half by two inches to nine and three quarters by four by uh, two and three quarters inches. The holes on the bottom right here, go ahead and flip it over. So from front to back, this is shown to be 10 inches from uh, these two center ones, it is two and a half inches. These wider ones here is four inches. Here is two, uh, two point four inches. And that's all the measurements that it shows right here on the bottom. So you have multiple options down here. It is decently heavy. When I pull up the Amazon reviews, we'll go over the weight of it and everything. So um, this secures pretty well. It looks like there is a fairly strong magnet there and then receiver. So 
that store is pretty nice. It does, I have to actually put effort into opening it. Um, so if I just try and pull that way without using my thumb at all, it's, it's a fair amount of effort. If I, you know, just pry it, it's fairly easy. So you just put it right there and it'll drop back in real nice. We'll go ahead and open it up. There is one little clip right here. And for your outgoing mail, um, when you put your flag up, there's this clip, so you just clip your mail right into that piece. So that would kind of be a downside that uh, if you're trying to send a package or something, you still have to go to the post office with this, because otherwise it would probably just fall in. So unless you can secure it to this piece right here, they, you're not gonna be able to have it go for your outgoing mail. So small letters will work in here just fine, but anything else might be kind of a struggle unless you uh, find another way to do it. Looks like this comes on this side and is right on top here. So upside down. So there's your flag that way. Of course, the keys I haven't lost yet, and that's actually a pretty big piece. I, I don't think that we might just leave them on there because I don't know that we'll lose that if we do, or at least one of them. Looks like it goes uh, upside down and opens up. You can see the up, upside feeder compartment and it is pretty large in here. So if you're gone for an extended period of time, I'm sure that plenty of magazines and letters will, will fit down in there just fine. The locking me mechanism looks pretty good. I've seen definitely worse constructed ones. So it looks to be pretty good quality. And then the locking bracket there as well. And all of this um, steel is actually pretty durable as well. So it seems like it locking up there is really nice. This hinge is a, is a nice piano hinge that goes all the way across and is riveted to both sides. So that looks like it is pretty strong. Rivets are coated out here so you can't disassemble it that way unless you're putting a whole lot of effort into it and it swings pretty nice. So I am pretty happy with that. It does come with mounting and use instructions. It has attaching the flag. To attach the flag we have these little washers right here and two very small, it looks like, um, nuts with the seal in there so those will stay in place real nice i'm not going to do that at the moment using your new box uh, incoming deliveries hopper style door designed to accept delivery of many small to medium sized parcels this mailbox provides some security until you are able to retrieve your deliveries at the end of the day all those Although this box is locking provides frontline deterrent for thieves, it is not a safe and you should take responsibility and you should take reasonable precautions to make sure your deliveries remain secure. Here are some suggestions and I'm not going to go over those. Keys, your new box comes with two keys. The keys allow access to the storage compartment to retrieve incoming deliveries. Simply open the access door at the bottom of the box. It is important to know that it is not the responsibility of mail carriers to open mailboxes that are locked. Accept keys for this purpose or lock mailboxes after delivery of the mail. Outgoing mail for these models, which includes this one. If you want to leave mail for your carrier to pick up, place the mail under the outgoing mail clip, which is what we talked about earlier, and raise the red mail flag. Upon your carrier's next delivery here, she will retrieve your outgoing mail and lower the flag. So it does show the mail clip, the hopper door, access door, and the lock. An outgoing mail flag. This is the mounting and use instructions. You can use the optional in-ground item surface mount. Instructions are provided below for mounting on these posts. But again, none of that hardware actually comes with it. So uh, it does show that there are four screws here that you would put onto an actual post.
So this is talking about an actual post set that's not included with this. This talks, this says just to use the four bolt sets included with the post as shown below to make sure, uh, be, be sure to use the actual washers. So again, we don't have that. Um, for ours, there's a there's the two posts on the end and then one, the, one beam that goes all the way across and that's what we're gonna be securing ours to. On Amazon, this item has 625 reviews for four and a half stars. It is listed as $99.99 or 97 cents and is available for prime delivery. You can also add a protection plan for three years. It does have used uh, availability for $89.63, also prime eligible. It has some numbers on here, so frequently bought together. Also has a post, a mounting post, which looks like it's actually this one. And then some numbers on there. Here are all the components that come with this. It does have some instructions. This is a steel mailbox, four x four adapter, fully powder coated, fits four x four wood posts, works with all popular mailbox models and works with several different mounting methods. This first one is showing the side mount method, which is what we're gonna have to do at our location. And then you have the top mount there and the cantilever mount if it's going out that way, but we're gonna be sticking with this one for where we have to mount it to in our community area. It has this pack of hardware here, including the uh, looks like plastic or rubber stoppers, plenty of bolts, washers, and a few screws in there as well. And it has these two pieces. It says the tools that you're gonna need is a screwdriver, power screwdriver, and a wrench. And then the hardware shows that comes with it is four small nuts, four large nuts, and eight washers. It has six wood screws, four long narrow screws, four short thick screws, and four nylon spacers. Shows the configuration for on top of the post and that's where these brackets come in. So the first thing that we're actually going to do is attach this to the mounting arm and then once you attach it to the mounting arm you're going to uh, then attach it to the actual mailbox. So to attach it to the mailbox which is what we'll be able to show in here. You can open it up and you're going to use the four large nuts, eight washers, and four short thick screws. So for this last step, this mount that was right in Home Depot that we got, these line, these holes do line up this way. Um, this is the only way that it actually lines up for this particular mailbox. And you'll take your bolt from the inside and come down. So you'll do your bolt, your washer, through the hole here and then you'll do your nut and this is again after this has already been secured to the post and that'll finish it off so the way that we're doing it get that in place there the way that we're doing it it'll go on this way and then these little pieces will attach just like this with their um, own little nuts that are there. And then this is what we're gonna use the wood screws to go into these holes on the sides to secure it to the actual frame that's going sideways. I do not have a four x four in my shop right now, otherwise I would give you a mock demonstration. Uh, but that's how this, does work it seems pretty dang easy probably the most difficult portion is going to be securing it to our uh, communal mailbox area and then this will go on pretty quick as it's only the four bolts so it is nice that it's going to be pretty quick 
I'll go over the information for this now. So this is the Architectural Mailboxes brand, which is the same brand as the mailbox itself. Mailbox adapter plate, four by four inches and black. On Amazon here, it has 234 reviews for four and a half stars. It is available for $9.99 or $9.97 with prime delivery. You can buy it used for $7.22, also prime eligible. Supports up to a 50 pound mailbox. Includes installation instructions, multiple mounting powders, uh, patterns, durable galvanized steel construction, and a universal mounting plate. Again, it has the three different options. There are more measurements for the actual holes available on Amazon. The part number for this, if you want to look it up, is 7540Bravo-10. The item weight for this is one and a half pounds. The dimensions are 11.8 inches by six by 1.9. This item is 26 pounds, it says on Amazon, and the part number is 6200B-10. And has a one year manufacturer limited warranty. We are gonna end up putting the numbers on the front here as well. Uh, again, I'm sorry, I would generally do an actual installation portion to this video as well, but being a community area, I'm not going to show everybody else's mailboxes uh, in addition to ours. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. And again, if anybody has questions and I haven't been able, been able to get to it yet, if you know the answer and you're watching the video, please go ahead and answer those. Uh, the whole purpose of doing these is, is to be part of the DIY community so that we can help people save a little bit of money instead of paying somebody else to come and do it, which generally costs significantly more. And it's just to be helpful trying to help out other people uh, and kind of give you reviews or examples on how to do some of the projects. By no means am I a professional, but I very much appreciate it when you guys watch my videos. I would really like it if you would uh, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel. I try and put up videos as much as possible, but I do work a lot so they may be infrequent. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. Today on DIY with Chris.